There, that's like my version of the THC, like, here comes the sound thing. You didn't get embarrassed at all, did you? No. No, those are the coolest noises. So there was a close call earlier today. I was trying to use the D3 to buff up Gobamon's wins, and uh, all of a sudden I notice it just says change battery, which is weird because I haven't had this that long. Uh, maybe the device takes more batteries. Maybe the batteries that came with the device just weren't that great, or maybe, no, I think I might have put in my own battery. Luckily though, there was a load feature. Luckily I could read Japanese. So it was like, load? Yes, no. So if you see that, yeah, just hit yes, and bam, we got everything back. No one's gone. We still have our precious, our precious baby Gabumon. And they're able to digivolve now into Garurumon. Look at him. He went from the little reptile what wants to be a doggy into a straight up doggy. That's a weird thing though because like, Gabumon's lore states that he gathered data left behind by Garurumon to make himself a pelt. And then with this pelt and the leftover data, he's able to eventually digivolve into Garurumon. My problem is, where did the first Garurumon come from? Hmm? It's a regular old Digimon chicken and the egg thing. Oh, there is actually ancient where Garurumon, right? This, or is it just ancient Garurumon? It's an actual Digimon. So who made him? Lord Drazil? I don't know. And I doubt he does. As astutely observed by Palarctico, Gabumon looks a bit like a sock puppet. Now I want a Gabumon sock puppet. If it, there's anyone out there that can make Gabumon sock puppets, please, I'll buy one. I will give you Kakujo Wacky Bucks, which you can exchange for my favor in the coming apocalypse. I, I do plan on being in a position of power afterward. You know, people like me, come on. I've, I've got, like, things to trade. Don't tell Gabumon, but I'm gonna sell his belt. I also almost have Weregarurumon. Wins are at 14 out of 15. I wanted to just, like, do this with you because Weregarurumon is where Gabumon starts to be able to turn into the Dark Line. If there's anything strange that happens here, because they have taken injury, I think, once, maybe even twice. So if anything happens, I want you to be here for it. Okay, here we go. And... Yeah. Oh, yes, of course, that's right. I didn't push them together with the force of a hydraulic press. <laughs> of course. Okay. Nice and steady, nice and sturdy. Now, a worm that just made a little flash, because it does that to show if they did evolve or not. I don't know why they, it's basically like pulling back the curtain and being like, ta-da, it's still a worm. Oh, who's it gonna be? Yeah, there we go. Garurumon versus a worm, the very idea. Although they have used basically like a silk string to trip up others, so you know. Okay, so what's the word, what's the word? Okay, Garurumon. Where Garurumon, wonderful, but he's not. Where Garurumon black, that's, that's a thing, that's a problem. I mean, I guess it's good because our goal right now is to get Omega Mon. We need to get him first. I just want to look at him. I just want to, I just want a little look, okay? Like, you know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad to, oh, poor worm. I don't think it's bad to like, you know, scope out the, the other things on the market, you know? Now I know in some canons that Wergarurumon and Metal Greymon can like also combine into Omega Mon. I don't think that's go gonna be the case here though, is it? Wait a second. What do you mean win? Win Omega? <gasps> oh, win Omega. What? Does Gabumon have that too? Or I guess he wouldn't because it's, we gotta go that, oh, okay. So there's another set of win points you need to do. Holy crap. So all we need here is I guess Gabumon in general and once Agumon's filled up, then maybe he'll be able to do it or maybe they both have to be at it. We will find out though. I just gotta make sure Gabumon doesn't take any damage in the meantime. So that's it. I, I'm just going to carefully, as if with a Fabergé egg, carefully train Gabumon up Make him the best that he can be, and then hopefully we can come back. I mean, that's that's a tall order. Let me just break this down for you. I have to do 15 battles with Gabumon, 13 more battles with Agumon, and then back on down to Gabumon, another 15 for the Omega form. That is 43 battles, okay? I don't, <laughs> maybe I'll have time for that. I mean, tomorrow is the break day, right? Tomorrow's the day when I'm supposed to be having a complete and total day off. My idea of a perfect day off is basically just playing Monster Hunter all day. You know, I beat the game a few days ago, and now I'm just like grinding stuff up. I got like, you know, the sickest gear. Every time Xenojiva shows up, I go and just rock its world. It's it's a fun game and I don't want to stop playing. In fact, my birthday's coming up here in a month and I'm gonna ask Birthday Skeleton for a PS4 Pro so that way I can play Monster Hunter with my girlfriend because she plays it a lot too. In fact, she was the one that got me into it. She tried to a long time ago. She was a, she's was she been a fan since, you know, the original. She's an OG Monster Hunter fan. I'm one of those awful new ones that everyone hates for some reason. I mean, I, I guess I get it. It was your outcast hobby before and now there's all of these normies coming in because it's a fun game. I get both sides of that. It just kind of sucks being on the other side of that this time because it's like no matter what I do, I, I can't like say anything right for some people. But the birthday skeleton, and by birthday skeleton, I mean my mom because she randomly, I guess, has more money this year and she's like, I'm going to buy you whatever you want. And at first I was like, I would like an Okinawan Sanshin. You know, like the, it's basically, you know, the Shamisen. There's the Okinawan version of that. 
made out of like viper skin and stuff. And I want one because I'm part Okinawan and that would be a wonderful cultural icon for me to have in my possession. But also I really want to play Monster Hunter with my girlfriend. <laughs> Something I noticed earlier when I was fighting, having these two fight was that, okay, so my girlfriend's in the kitchen, right? She's cooking dinner. Usually it's me mostly during the week that cooks dinner, okay? So d before you even, s you know, how dare a woman be in the kitchen in 2018? Come on. Mostly it's me. But tonight she was like, I'll make orange chicken and she did and it was awesome. But anyway, she's in there using the microwave for something and I realized that the D3, the tone exactly matches my microwave. You know, I was battling them and I got that tone stuck in my head and then I was just sitting there chilling for a bit and I hear it, I hear beep, beep, beep. And immediately I'm like, I, I get into fight mode, I get into a fight stance. Gabumon's over here getting spooked. The hairs on his pelt are sticking up, which I don't know how that's possible. The pelt is like a separate, not attached to him kind of thing. But it freaked us out! At least the chicken was good! Ever since we got Gabumon, and especially since I've been rewatching Adventure, I'm kind of finding myself attaching to different Digimon than I had when I was a kid. You know, in my mind, I'm always like, oh, I love Tentumon. Like, number one is Tentumon, number two is Agumon, then Palmon, and then way near the bottom was Gabumon. And, like, now that I'm rewatching the show, it's changing. You know, like, okay, actually at the bottom was Biomon. Now I actually kind of like Biomon. I, I think they're endearing in a way, and Gabumon's actually jumped up pretty high on the list. Agumon is still, like, probably the best. Like, he, he might be my favorite Digimon, I know. Kind of basic. It's like being like, Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon, which is still a valid thing, you know? You can like Pikachu, he's cool and cute. I mean, in the actual games, he's kind of weak, but, you know, and then you get Raichu, who is, who is still kind of weak, he's just fast. You know, but don't even get me started on that, okay? Because I, I very much dislike the notion that you have to have a Pokemon that just looks ridiculously buff and scary to have it be strong. Like, why are there no Pokemon that are small and cute and ridiculously powerful? That, it makes me, it's a fantasy world, you know? Come on, they shoot electricity out of their cheeks. Every time a new gen of Pokemon comes out, I'm like, maybe a Mol, maybe this one, maybe, maybe this Amolga one? No? Okay. Oh, okay. How, how, how about Togedemaru? Is that- is he a good- no? Oh. Alright, maybe next gen. No, it's fine. I'll just keep going on this adventure with this muscle mosquito thing. That's fine. Today's drawing is submitted by Brook. They were saying to draw a Gabumon snoozing, and well, I did say Gabumon's on the mind. And again, I would like to kind of fill in some of these gaps with some stuff, so yeah. Gabumon could be behind the tree, you know? Over here behind a little Kakugachi. I think it could be cute. Oh man, it's a good thing we actually do these drawings every day or else I would have forgotten to show you what came in the mail today. Have a look! Pins! Look, we, we got the brush one, the graphic one, the Micron 8, the, it's easier to do it from the bottom. 8, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, the, the thing is, this set was supposed to come with like a whiteout pen, like another one, like a gel one, kind of like the ones that we have here, but it was going to be, I think, maybe a Micron version, so I gotta like contact them and see what's up with that. So which one of these pens will we use for this drawing? Ah, oh, I don't know. He's a bit in the background, not super small. I'm always using the 005, and apparently I looked online, it's like a known thing that 005s go, you know, they, they run out really, really quickly because they're such a fine pen, so of course the felt tip disappears. Let's try a basic one. You know, I don't think I've ever actually used a 2, 3, or 4. The other set that I bought before was just 1, 5, 0, 0, 5, 8, and so on and so forth. So yeah, look at that tip. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and protruded, plenty of space. When you when you draw with these things, you don't really want to press down too hard or else very quickly they'll disappear. Let me get my old 0, 1. So here we have two 0, 1s. The one on the right is mine, the old one, that is. And have a look at the tips. Very different. Yeah, this one's going in the trash. Whenever I draw an angle where the eyeball is like this, it worries me because I'm like, oh man, am I going to be able to do it right? Like, I don't know. Huh. This pen is so different. I'm going to, it's going to take some time for me to get used to this. It, it draws differently. I wouldn't say it's, I actually wouldn't say it's smoother. I would say it's actually scratchier, you know? I, I think there's a, there's a level of control you gain by having the tip be actually really short. It kind of makes sense. I don't know. I'll get used to it, though. We're gonna have that kind of come in a little bit more because his arms are folding, not... Not limply folding over his stomach, but we do need to draw his little stomach egg. I so often draw a kind of a vague draft and being like, oh, I'll remember these details later, and then of course I don't. And then, yeah, so then I end up putting a lot of detail into the draft, but then that wastes time. It's a conundrum to be sure. You know, we really don't need to use the brush for this. We should really use the graphic one, but it is a new brush. And it's the first time I've owned a brush in so long that wasn't busted by my brother-in-law. So let's see. Oh good, it didn't explode. So let's see how, well let's see what kind of level of detail we can get. What control do we have? Oh! Oh and, oh wow! Fantastic! This, there's so much finesse in this. I can really feel where the tip's going. It's firm and it's, it's predictable. 
It's oh beautiful. Oh my god. Really just thank you all for making it possible that I can get these cuz like without the Patreon, I I would still buy them, but it would be out of pocket. And especially in a time like, for, for instance, right now, I really, I really can't go out of pocket right now. So again, thank you all so much. Oh, this is great. At this point, I'm just like, I'm just rubbing it in that I can use the brush to do this kind of detail work. That's so awesome. So here we have the new one that we just got. Look at that. Symmetrical. Smooth. And here we have the one that I've been using up till this point. Look at that. <laughs> It is, it's seen better days. I mean, it was great until, yeah, you can see where he, he really pushed down hard and kind of jacked it up. So, this is the guest brush. He can have the guest brush next time he comes over. Well, thank you for coming by. Tomorrow there will not be a video uploaded because it is Monday, and I do not upload on Mondays. So please do click that bell next to the subscribed button so that way we don't get lost. It seriously just takes like one day of not uploading, and then YouTube will decide that half of you just don't need to see my videos anymore. So... Yeah, hit the bell, maybe. If you really like my stuff anyway, I, I think it's worth it. Okie doke, see you Tuesday! Have a good one! Or two!